Hi, I'm Rachel, and today we're going to be going over learning how to simplify. There's two important things that I like to have my students remember when learning how to simplify. One is when to keep going. You know, knowing when you have to keep simplifying when it's not enough. And the other is knowing when to stop. Sometimes I have students that want to keep simplifying when there's actually nothing more to simplify and they're doing something that's not actually allowed mathematically. So you have to know when to stop, but you also have to know when to keep going. It's very frustrating to have someone stop at something that can be you know, simplified more and they don't get all the points even though they were going to get the correct answer. They just forgot to keep going and simplify. I'd say this is most common, but this is also something that is good to remember. If you have something like 3a over 3, right? You can simplify that because 3 over 3 is 1. So this is really just a over 1, and please don't ever leave it like that. Please keep simplifying so it's just a. Same thing if you have, um, you know, 3a over a, the a's cancel out, right? And you just get 3. Now, in terms of knowing when to stop, if you have something like x plus 5 over 5, stop here, you are done. People try and you know, simplify it more by crossing off the 5's, but you can't do this because let's say this x is a 2, right? That's 2 plus 7 over 5. You can't cross off you know, the 5 and the 5 in that case, right? You don't know what x is yet. So it's different than if this was 5x over 5, right, with multiplication. Addition is not always so simple. You can't just cross this off. This is the final answer. You can't simplify anymore. Whereas in this case, simplify it to x. So when you're learning how to simplify, make sure you know when to keep going and when to stop. I'm Rachel, and thank you for learning with me today.